All right, my loves. So let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Leos, please? What messages do my Leos need to hear today, please, Spirit? Whoa. Messages for my Leos, please. So we have the star card, Aquarian energy in the reverse, and the ace of pentacles. We have the judgment card, Sagittarian energy, and we have the knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We've got the queen of swords in the reverse, and we've got the queen of cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and more air energy. Strong Aquarius here, Leo. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance. Oh. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, and the Six of Cups. We've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. One more for my Leos, please. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so Leo, under the deck, we've got the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. So Leo, what I'm feeling here in the recent past, there was a situation that you started losing... Um, you lost love for something here, Leo. You started to not care. I'm getting a sense of like falling out of love. Now, I, I also feel that there was, um, there may have been emotional outbursts. Someone here may have felt scorned, uh, a sense of being bitter, a sense of maybe um, someone like, you know, that feeling of like when someone chooses someone else over you, um, just a sense of like, you went through a hard time here, Leo. Like maybe the ego was affected. Something here made you a little bitter, all right? Um, but with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, I do feel that you worked through it, Leo, okay? And now I feel like you have become emotionally independent from something where you just don't care anymore. So there was a point in time here where you did feel scorned. There's a point in time where you did feel rejected, where you did feel spiteful or vengeful. Um, you know, you may have just caught yourself crying or, or you know, again, with emotional outbursts, like just flipping out on somebody because you were so hurt inside um but i feel like you worked through that leo you worked on yourself you worked on your emotions you worked on whatever you need to work on internally and now you have become emotionally you've gotten to a place where you can make yourself happy you've gotten to a place where you don't need this person like i don't care if you choose me or you don't choose me i choose me and that's all that matters right now, it's, it's just funny how things work sometimes, Leo, because I'm seeing here, as soon as you do that, as soon as you truly cut that emotional, energetic cord with this person, here they come rushing in like a bat out of hell with that Knight of Swords energy. Um, you've got the ex coming back, like raising themselves up from the dead. Uh, you know, the Judgment card is like our Lazarus card. Don't forget, it's like it's like a card of a connection that something that you have put to bed, Leo. Something that you have said, we're done. You know, I've made my peace with it, and I'm over. Right? You know, I've, I've made my peace with this. As soon as you do this, this person rushes in wanting to manifest, wanting to work on things with you, Leo. And I feel that you don't want it. Honestly, I feel like with the star card in the reverse, I feel like your highest guides, I feel like you're being guided somewhere else towards something better. With the Ace of Pentacles, whatever they're offering you, it's just not what you, I, I feel like you know what you want and they're not going to give you what you want, right? Like, I feel like you know 
what kind of offer you want from somebody, what kind of new beginning you would want for your life. And you know that they're not going to come in and offer that. You know that they're coming in as a page of wands, a page of cups, sweet nothings, broken promises, things are, that are just going to fizzle out in the moment. Leo, I feel here that you're heading towards uh, commitment. You're heading towards something stable. You're heading towards p someone here. Um, I don't know if you've met this person yet or not. We have the Ace of Pentacles, so maybe you started talking to somebody. This is coming into the future, so maybe you haven't yet, Leo. But I feel like you're going to start talking to someone here, Leo, that is going to be a perfect counterpart, is divinely guided to you, someone traditional, someone who sees things the way you, someone who wants commitment, okay, someone who wants commitment. I see the person that you're dealing with here, this past person as a page, I see them as a knight. So this is not someone who wants to be seated on a throne next to you, Leo, okay, and I feel like you're heading towards it though, you know what you want, if it it's kind of like this energy, if it ain't real, I just don't want it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's not the real thing, I just am not interested. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos here. This person, like in the past, they made you constantly feel emotionally unfulfilled. This person just made you always feel angry and bitter and just... just they 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 deprived you of emotion so badly that you were just like jealous over everything you were always angry you know tell me about this queen of cups and the six of pentacles yeah because you were not getting you were giving out a lot of love but not getting anything back tell me about the queen of swords in the reverse we've got the nine of cups in the reverse you see what i'm saying you were not being emotionally fulfilled in this connection and i feel like it was causing you to become emotionally codependent on this person now guys I, i'm sure some of you have heard me say this you know when you see the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups in the reverse i don't always take it as a negative thing i don't always take it as oh you're completely codependent on somebody it depends on the situation here, Leo. I think it's important when you're in a relationship to need your person, to want your person for certain things. Um, but there is a fine line where it does turn toxic, okay, with the devil card, Capricorn energy. And I feel like this is a connection that has turned toxic. This was a connection where you were so emotionally codependent on so on somebody because they were depriving you of love, because there was no no equality, there was no give and take in the connection. And I feel like you got it back quickly though. You got it back. Tell me about the nine of cups for my Leos, please. King of Wands in the reverse. So what happened here, Leo, is that someone here made you feel very insecure. It was a blow to your ego. Whatever this person did to you, it was a blow to your dignity. It was a blow to your self-esteem. Um, and it made you really angry, okay? But you turned that pain into power. You turned it into power. I feel like you worked on yourself. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Swords in the reverse. You healed and moved on from it you healed and moved on from it tell me about the judgment card the seven of swords so what we have here now is this deceptive person this sneaky person this person that took so much from you okay leo this person that just took and ran now they want to come back and fix things look five of pentacles this is someone that has no problem ghosting you this is someone that has no problem seeing you desolate seeing you broke seeing you like they have no problem seeing you in this energy okay they've got no problem uh just abandoning the connection tell me about the six of cups queen of cups in the reverse this is someone that in, has been possibly emotionally abusing you for quite some time, okay? This is someone that is not coming towards you with real love in their heart. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. We've got the Eight of Cups. You see, this person can walk away from you at the drop of a dime and then come rushing back in. This is someone that doesn't have their that love in their heart. With the Two of Pentacles, this person possibly juggles you with multiple people or other things. They don't put all of their eggs in your basket, Leo. And that's why it's so easy for them to come and go as they please. Tell me about the Magician. Six of Cups in the Reverse. 
Leo, you're dealing with someone here that you have a lot of bad memories with this person. Three of Swords, Six of Cups in the reverse. This is bad memories. This is very a very negative and nasty past with this person. Uh, and with the Queen of Swords, that's why you don't, you know, you're not trusting them. You're just not trusting them. You're not trusting anything they have to say. Tell me about the Star card in the reverse. The Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Leo, let me tell you, you have ascended to Empress level. You have started your spiritual journey. You have overcome and you are standing like an Empress slash Emperor right now because we don't regender in tarot. So you're good. Like you are happy, good, abundant. Maybe you started a business. Maybe you're just, you're start, you're living your life. You're, you're shining like a diamond over there. Look at you twinkling and everything, you know, and you just don't want this anymore. You don't want it anymore. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You know what I'm saying? You have gotten to a point where you are abundant, Leo, even if that just means that you have found peace in your life and you are going to protect that. You are going to protect that. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel here, Ace of Pentacles, Chariot again, Cancerian energy. Yep, you're only going to move towards things that you know are going to lead to success. At this point, it's like everything you turn touches, you know, turns to gold. Everything you touch turns to gold here, Leo. And if this connection hasn't turned to gold, then you know it's not for you, you know? And uh, you're just not messing with things. An empress doesn't waste her time or an emperor doesn't waste his time on things that aren't going anywhere. And this is obviously not going anywhere. Page of Wands. And the death card, Scorpionic Energy. What we have here is a page telling you that they're going to change. We have a page telling you and promising you major life change here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yeah. It's just not, that's not how we do things. Tell me about the page of cups and the ten of pentacles. You have a page promising you a ten of pentacles. A page. Not even a knight, not a king, a page. Okay. Promising you a ten of pentacles. Promising you happily ever after. Promising you all of these things. And then make no mistake, when the time comes to deliver seven of wands, two of swords, and ten of cups, they're not going to deliver anything. This person's not out to deliver anything. Good thing is, though, the good news is, though, is that, Leo, you already know. You already know. So, Leo, if you are in the energy right now where you are going through this hard time, where you're in this energy of feeling scorned and feeling upset, just know. Just know that your time is coming to shut the door in this person's face. That table is going to turn. These, You know, it's, it's going to come back around where you are going to be strong enough to be like, you know what, you're not good enough for me. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Yep, see, it's safe for you to love. I don't feel safe with you. I don't feel stable with you. You have done nothing to make me feel that way, like this is even going anywhere. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, I feel, Leo, you love this person and you gave it a shot. You gave it chance after chance after chance because you did have feelings for this person. But I feel like you are coming to the point where you're like, I'm done. I'm just done. You are officially getting over it. <laughs> like you are just over it, Leo. Okay. And I feel like you know exactly what you want and you are not settling for anything less than what you want and what you deserve. Okay. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.